stop the presses, stop the presses. Texas governor signs a bill into law stating that any illegal crossing over into Texas is illegal. What are you retarded? <laughs> What's signing up a piece of paper going to do at this point? A bullshit? Nah, it's all bullshit anyway. I'm Jazz Borgans on this. <laughs> you serious? It's what's next. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next, your daily dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Well, we're going to talk about illegals. Seven and a half million illegals that have come over the border and through the air and through ground during Joe Dementia's three plus years in office. The most illegals to ever come over during a presidential, um, during one president's term in the history of this country and yet finally finally something has been done about it texas governor greg abbott finally says you know what it stops right here i'm going to sign a bill into law making it illegal for illegals to cross over into texas because it's illegal anyway before signing this Uh, and here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Texas governor signs bill making it illegal for a migrant to come from Mexico into Texas, making it a state crime. There he is signing the, my opinion, worthless piece of paper. But Texas governor Greg Abbott signed a bill making Texas the first state in the union to give law enforcement officers the authority to arrest migrants who illegally enter the state because they were already legal now this makes them even more illegal the measure sb4 was signed into law on monday during a ceremony at the base of the border wall in brownsville texas the bill is part of a package that measures designed to decrease uh, decrease the flow of migrants entering the state from mexico the state uh, texas state legislature passed the bills during two special sessions this fall greg, greg abbott Today in Brownsville, I signed three new laws in to better protect Texans and Americans from Biden's open border policies. Illegal entry in Texas is now a crime subject to removal or imprisonment. Texas will also fund new wall construction and increase human smuggling penalties. There he is, in all his glory. Governor Greg Abbott was joined at the bill signing ceremony by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judge, Adjutant General of Texas Major General Sutzer, uh, Salter, excuse me, uh, Borders are Mike Banks, Pete Flores, John Huffman, Jerry Yaros Perry, Representative Ryan Gillen, and so forth and so on. Senate Bill 4, <clears throat> excuse me, Senate Bill 4 from a special session that number four makes illegal entry in Texas from a foreign country a criminal offense. This law is the latest attempt to state by the crackdown on migrants illegally entering the state between ports of entry. By creating this offense of illegal entry, entry offenders can be penalized with sentences up to 20 years in prison. It also provides a mechanism in order for an offender to return to a foreign nation from which they entered or attempted to enter the state. The law provides civil immunity and indemnification for local and state government officials, employees, contractors, and lawsuits resulting from enforcing these provisions. But what about the babies? You're separating me from the babies. I'm suing. I'm sorry, lady. You can't sue because you're not a sis. So get the file. The law is similar to the current federal statute under Title VIII of United States Code 1325 which makes illegal entry in the United States a misdemeanor offense, number one, and a felony, number two. Under the current administration, the federal statute is not pursued in any way, shape, or form because Sloppy Joe doesn't give a fuck. Also, similar to proceeding carries out in a federal law, migrants may agree to return to their home country as part of sentencing agreements. The process in federal courts is known as stipulated deportation, where a previous dep uh, deported migrant waives his right to separate immigration hearing and agrees to removal as part of the sentencing process. So, Governor Greg Abbott, who's now in a lame duck session, you know, after just getting reelected again a third time, signs a worthless piece of paper saying, if you illegals cross over into the great state of Texas, you'll be arrested, charged, 
up to 20 years and or deported. So there. Mm. Laws already in the books. Federal statute is on the books. And to me, I think it's worthless. You know, first time a misdemeanor, second time a felony. I think it's ridiculous. But yet, when you have illegals come in here four, five, six, seven, what, ten times? Kind of reminds me of that one illegal who was captured and thrown back, what, six, seven times? And then killed that woman in San Francisco? But it's not his fault. It was just the bullet. The bullet just strayed and, you know, and just happened to hit her and killed her. And away you go. You know, who cares about her? It's the illegal that we, because the illegal is the victim. It's pathetic. It's all fun show. It's all bread and circuses. That's what this is. It's worthless. That piece of paper is worthless. Just like when you sign, just like when you are, you know, you are in fearful of being abused by your boyfriend or your husband, you sign a little piece of paper, you know, that keeps him 500, you know, a thousand yards away from you. So that piece of paper is a wall that's going to stop that person from coming after you. No, it doesn't. And we've seen it time and time again that that piece of paper in domestic abuse cases is worthless. Just like this piece of paper that Governor Greg Abbott signed. It's worthless. It doesn't mean shit. Because illegals are still going to come over and flood the border. They're still going to come. Greg, can I call you Greg? They're going to come, whether you like it or not. You can do all this, you know, you can all this pomp and circumstance and wave your pom-poms and we did a great thing here today in Texas. But at the end of the day, it's worthless. It's bullshit because they're still going to come. Unless there's a unified effort from both the state and federal government to stop this shit. And it's not going to happen under sloppy Joe. Or practically anybody else, because we've seen the flood gates have been wide open since Ronald Reagan signed that amnesty bill in November of 86, when at that time we had about 3.2 to 3.5 million illegals in the country. And now we're pushing, what, 60, 70? And more to come. Hmm. But as long as you feel good, Greg, that's all that counts. And with that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, with that being said, <clears throat> with that being said i'm jazz Borgonzo. this is what's next want to see more like this please leave a comment below like it share subscribe to it hit that notification bell guys so you never miss a thing and we'll see you next time peace